Hey, how's it going people? This is Hellbent and welcome to Auto Hotkey GUI short tutorial number 13. In this one, we're going to be introducing the GUI control hide and show command. So let's just jump into it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it so that way we can script it so that way we can hide or show controls at our leisure whenever we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple controls that we're going to be using to demonstrate this with. So I'm just going to use some radio buttons and I'm just going to position them on my GUI the same way I've been doing over the last uh, several tutorials. So we're going to right away come up with a variable for each of them but we don't need any text for our example. Uh, maybe I'll add in some text. Just uh, there. There, we got some nice text there. So I'll add in, let's do three controls. Let's have a look at our little program here. Okay, so here we have three radio buttons, but they're not going to be actually doing anything. We're just going to be demonstrating how to hide them and show them. So let's say for some reason, whatever reason we might have, we don't want uh, this second control to be shown right away. We want for, through some process of our script, sometime down the line, we want it to show up later. So what we can do is after we create it, we can just type in GUI control and then the sub command is going to be hide and then which control we're going to be controlling which is our control associated with the variable rad2. Now when we run the GUI again the second radio control will be gone. Okay, there we go. Now let's see how we can bring it back. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a button. We're going to use a button, but like I said, you can use any process you want to actually have this these kind of things happen. And Y, um, let's go Y60. We're going to call this button show radio. Show radio 2. And we'll put some text on it to say the same thing. Okay, so for whatever reason we wanted to hide radio button 2 and then through some other process we wanted to sometime down the line actually re-enable that or show it back up. So I'll just type in here my label show radio 2 and then we'll actually go in and script that. So our button's really simple. All we want it to do is do the opposite of what we had it do here. So that's all we'll do. And there we go. So now when we run this program, as long as I don't have any errors. Okay, let me uh, move this down a little bit. I thought I was had enough room, but apparently I don't. Okay, a little better. Okay, so we ha we started off, radio button 2 is hidden, and then through some process of scripting, whatever it is, in our case we're just using a button, we want to re-enable it or show it again. So we hit this button, and bam, radio text, uh, radio button 2 shows back up. Alright, so that's the hide and show. We can get rid of this, and what we'll do now is we will change it so that way we're going to hide multiple controls right away so if I have a set if this radio button group I don't want to have any of them shown until much later in the process of running my program 
what I'll do here instead is I'll have this button to hide my radios and because I'm a slow typer what I'll try to do to save a little bit of time is I'll just do some copy and paste okay so we'll run this so basically when I hit the button now it'll hide all those radio buttons so we're running our program we're done with those so let's hide them bam they're gone now let's create another button to bring them back. And we will call this, let's call this one hide. show radios and we'll change that to hide there we go now our script is uh, a little bit communicates what we want it to do a little bit better and we'll type in our new label for that one show radios okay And we're just going to do the exact opposite that we did here. So I'm just going to copy and paste to save a bit of time and just edit. So with this command, it isn't only useful when I want to hide something, but also when we get into other things within the GUI control thing, um, this becomes necessary to fix any distortions or anything like that so if we have any for some reason we have distortions of our controls what we can do is we can hide them and then show them again and that'll kind of like redraw them alright so first thing we're gonna hide our controls bam they're hidden now we're gonna show our controls bam they're back and that's it for hide and show I will see you on the next one which will cover a topic that I'm not sure of yet so you'll know when I know have a good day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.